front and center. We had a good time. <laughs> we, could, we couldn't miss this yeah, one. Yeah, no, absolutely. We, and what a absolutely. game it was. South Carolina, for those of you watching, you know, you, you saw them fall behind early, but then they showed the heart of a champion, and we are so honored and excited to have South Yay! Carolina women's basketball head coach Dawn Staley and Gamecocks guard Raven Johnson got up early or stayed up late. I don't like you wait. There you go. Good morning. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Coach, Thank y'all for having us. Absolutely. Hey, Coach, you know, here's, here's, here's the thing. You've done this before. This is your third championship. You won you know, championships as a player as well. But yesterday after the game, you were so overcome with emotion. I had never seen you like that. What was, what was different about this particular championship? What was different about this particular team that led to such emotion? Well, I mean, it's, it's just reflecting. Reflecting on where we were last year this time and how we, we, we cried sad tears, unhappy tears, and to get back uh, to this place and finish the job and do it in a fashion that no one expected us to do it in, which is being undefeated. Um, and I was just so, my cup running over with, with joy for our players, for our program, for our former players, for our freshies, all of those people that had the heartbreak of, of losing last year in the in the women's final four, um, it just all came rushing at me. Aww. And I really don't like showing my emotions in that way because I got a, a person here sitting next to me that has been doing this um, <laughs> since yesterday. Let's, so I, love I, it. I told her, it was more of a spiritual, mm. emotional release <laughs> than anything. Sure. Uh, Raven, let's, let's, let's chat with you for a moment here because to the coach's point, you know, last year your team had a, had a tough loss in the Final Four against that same Iowa team that you beat yesterday. And I read yesterday that you actually thought about quitting basketball altogether because of what happened in that game and, and how much you sort of blamed yourself. Now that you've met the moment, you've captured the national championship, you're on the other side, how does it feel now? I'm so excited. I mean, I'm lost of words right now. I mean, especially with this team, just what we went through, how we started in the summer, and we, we made history. It's just, it's nothing to say, honestly. I mean, I can thank Coach Staley enough for this. I mean, it started with Coach Staley, it started with the freshies, and I'm just excited. I love it. Well deserved. Coach, I have to tell you, you weren't watching it from home like we were, obviously. But my kids kept commenting they would show Caitlin Clark and then they would show you. And they would show, and it was just like back and forth. And, you know, she had this explosive first quarter. They did, you know, they placed Iowa in the early lead. What shifted in your team to control Iowa's momentum and take over the rest of the game? I kept looking at your face and I kept thinking, okay, what's she thinking? What is she, what's going through her mind? Well, I mean, I, if, I take, if I could take you through what was happening in our locker room prior to the game, our players were like, like on, on level, um, 200, <laughs> you know, with excitement. The things that they were saying, I, I thought they sounded a little bit too overconfident, mm. but it's their way. I did not interfere with their locker room talk, but we could hear them in a the coach's locker room, and we're like, oh, my God, either we're going to get blown out or we're going to blow them out. <laughs> there's, no, there's not going to be any in-between. In between. Um, but then when, we, when the game started, I thought Iowa was, was able to play – the way they normally play, which is get out in transition, get some easy buckets. And I thought it took us a little bit to, to adjust to their speed. And once we saw the game coming at us, slowing down, we were able to execute on both sides of the basketball, tie the score um, at the end of the first quarter. And I just sat. Like, I didn't even get up. Mm. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. I, I forced myself to just sit there so our players know that I'm good. Uh, like I, I could call a timeout. Yep. I could call a timeout and stop the bleeding, but I knew what was happening out there, and I, I trust my team enough to, to figure it out awesome. to where I wouldn't have to burn a timeout because you never know if you're going to need a timeout yeah. later. But historically speaking, I've never called timeouts in those instances, mm. and you know why. Because yeah. I, 
Because I don't is because I trust my team. Wow. You should write a book. She, have you written a book? She's, I'm sure she's working on the okay. book. Okay. Raven Johnson, <laughs> Raven Johnson, we are so proud of you, and we're so proud of what you overcame to get here. Coach Don Staley, you continue to be the pride of the Palmetto State. We love you. Love you more than you know. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. So cool. Oh. So proud. I feel like you could cry a little. You should have heard uh, me cry. I, I, I shed, well, I shed my tears yesterday. Oh, did you? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, How were the kids? Was it? Oh, they could not have had more fun. They were yeah. picking up confetti for 30 minutes That's off the floor. That's awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.